Hi, my name is Michael and this is The Race Advisor. I'm really excited to announce that our new race predictor is about to be released and it uses a Monte Carlo simulation to predict the races. In the next few minutes, I'm going to explain how this prediction process works. So the first thing that we do is we take a race shape. Now a race shape is a set of race criteria. Our database contains thousands of race shapes and each race shape contains enough races to be statistically significant when we do analysis, but are niche enough to be predictive. Now with each race shape, we then need to determine what factors or ratings are the most predictive for that particular race shape. To do this, we look at every factor in our database and we have hundreds of factors, as well as considering whether the horse is best ranked or worst ranked for them, or what the difference is between one horse and the top rated horse in that race. We take all of these possible factors together and we remove the outliers. These are the extremes. We don't want them to be, uh, we don't want the data to be wrongly manipulated because of extreme examples. What we're left with, we then divide into segments. And each segment of a rating, so for example, if a rating goes to 0 to 100, we might have 0 to 10 horses, 10 to 20 horses, 20 to 30 horses. So I call these buckets or segments. Now, each of these is gonna have roughly the same number of horses in. Once we've got those all set up, we then run analysis on each bucket. So how often do they win? What profit do they make? Is there an advantage in the market? All of these pieces of information that go in to tell us whether that particular factor is going to be predictive or not for this race shape. When we know which of the factors are going to be predictive for the race shape, we then need to determine which are going to be the most predictive for that race shape. And to do this, we use a statistical algorithm that goes through all of that data we just calculated to determine the predictiveness of the factor or rating in its entirety. We then take around 40 of the most predictive ratings for that race shape. And these are the ratings and factors we're going to use to try and predict the race's outcome. Next, what we need to do is we need to take every horse in the race and we need to decide what the variance is for each horse in the race for every one of those factors. Some horses may have a great variability between how they perform for a particular rating or factor and others not so big. Each one is personal to a specific horse. So we work out the variance for each of those 40 pieces of information, those 40 factors for each horse. Then we come to the prediction itself. So how does this work? For the prediction itself, what we then go ahead and do is we take the first factor or rating and every horse is assigned, based on its actual rating that's been given for the race, it's assigned a random rating within the variance it has for that factor. So every horse has its own variance for the factor and every horse has its own rating for the factor. We then give it a random one within that range of variance. Every horse gets that. And then we decide how, which horse has won, which horse has lost, whether it's placed or not placed. All of these pieces of information for every horse for that factor. We repeat this for every single factor. So if we have 40 factors, we repeat this 40 times. That counts as a single simulation. Okay, now once we've done this single simulation, we know whether a horse has overall come first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. in the simulated race. Now we need to keep doing it. We keep doing this again and again and again and again until the percentages that a horse has won or placed start to no more bounce around and they level out, which means we're getting to a point where we have statistically run enough simulations to have an accurate result. Roughly, this is around four to five million simulations per race. So we run around four to five million simulations with each simulation having about 40 factors per horse. Okay, so this is what the new race predictor looks like. Here we are on a race card and um, all these race cards are the same. At the top we've got the standard race card here, the horses in the race. And if we scroll down here, we've got the race advisor insights. And now next to the race advisor insights here, we have the Monte Carlo simulation race predictor. If we click on that, we get two options. We can predict all of today's races, or we can predict this race only. Um, 
one, whichever one you click on, um, you need to confirm that you agreed to the charge for predicting the races. Press I accept. And then you can see this goes off. It starts processing. It gathers those race shapes that we talked about, finds the ratings, runs a simulation. And as you can see, it all happens pretty quickly. Uh, and here are the results of that simulation. And we can see them here. And obviously we can uh, click on any of these horses' names if we want to look into those horses in more detail. Uh, and you can see here that this is selected is the win market. So we do also have a place market version here, uh, which shows you a horse's uh, chance of placing based on the prediction. Um, so coming here, we can see this, um, and we've got these percentages. And running along here, uh, we can see 47%. And then we have a value column um, over on the right hand side. And this just gives us an indication of whether there is expected value in the current uh, market odds versus uh, the probability that the simulator has given the horse of winning. And there's a, obviously there's a numerical value and the higher that number, um, the more potential value there may be in the market and the lower that number, the less potential value. But also you can see this visually. So you can see a red circle here, uh, means very low value. Orange, not great. Blue, we're starting to look like there might be some potential value. And then green, obviously we're expecting there may be some potential value. Uh, and we also have this in the place market as well. So you can see that here too. So this is what it looks like and this is how quickly that simulation, those millions of simulations run uh, for you to get that prediction. So that's how the race predictor works on the race advisor using a Monte Carlo simulation. Go check it out for yourself over on the website, Race Advisor, the link is below. And please don't forget if you enjoy the videos to make sure you subscribe to the channel.